It's a beautiful day in Houston, Texas. As you can see, I have my book here. <laughs> it's red because it's for YouTube. And I am ready to share with you guys my struggle as an upcoming YouTuber. You are a new subscriber. Welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria Zelibe. And my returning subscribers, welcome back to my channel. You guys have been so amazing. In my last video, I told you guys I passed the milestone of 200 subscribers. And all thanks to you guys. You guys have been so amazing. And please tell me what you think. Today, I decided to do something different. Film outside my house so that you can have at least a little idea of what Houston, Texas is like. So you're going to be seeing few cars passing me. You're going to get to see my food because yes, I am definitely going to be eating. And don't worry, I will just show you a little bit of what this city looks like. I mean, in this area. Keep the focus in the blink of an eye, the morning focus. Chest off the arm damage, Jesus Christ, save us lost ever. My wild earpiece got, got stains from the dope oil. <laughs> and my rough polo got burned from the dope sick. <laughs> Yo, buddy. Uh. Every move we make is a paper chase. Sure. Like check. Just once. Uh. I don't double check your Set. face. So many smiles, no faces. Yo, too many heats, no traces. Uh. So many goddamn praises. All of them put together a bunch of disgraces. But no matter how hard life treats me, education makes me stand tall like high cheat me. That's line tricky, that's line is cheeky. All of them recite my flows, that's line stickers. Uh, if uh, metaphorical lines, they can't surpass me. These fake MCs rather can't surpass me, but it's still everlasting. I cast them nasty. Defending them last your nigga, call me your nasty. I'm real like that, they can't see my back. All of them put together, no fee copycat. But Satala is my style and the Mikey. I know if it's Steve like a Zaki nigga, call me Stevie a Zaki. I'll have the garlic noodles and the firecracker beef. Uh, drinks, I don't know what I'll drink for now. So like I said earlier, I wrote down my points here and I am not going to be reading like this so I don't look like a, a mad woman out here but I am definitely going to be picking some of my points from here. It's all written down and in fact, reading out from the book is part of my struggle as an upcoming YouTuber and because I talk too much like you all know, I don't want to be saying the unnecessary things. So I really don't want to bore you with my st story. <laughs> so I just write. So I just want to say this. When I started my YouTube, I had loads of support. I had the friends that supported me, you know, they helped me to repost my first YouTube video on Instagram. But that's not what I'm about to talk about today. So let's leave the friendship behind and let's start talking about the struggles of a small youtuber okay i'm not going to call myself a small youtuber i'm going to call myself an upcoming youtuber all upcoming youtubers gather here we're not small youtubers we are going to succeed in this youtube youtube is a business most of us already know that but when i started youtube i didn't start youtube with the mindset of getting money from youtube i started youtube because even though my you know some part of me thought about the money as an evil girl i'm not going to deny that but my main reason for starting youtube was i i believe because i have i still have so much content to share with everyone i believe i am talented in so many areas i know how to style my hair I know how to look good on budget. I know how to do makeup. I know how to cook. I think I know how to speak. I know how to do so many things. You know? So when I started YouTube, I started YouTube with my very tiny tripod, a very tiny lighting and my phone. Even now, I still record with my phone. I don't have a camera. 
just my phone. I mean, I have a good phone. I have the iPhone 11. So that's what I use in recording. It's a very good quality. So if you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel and you don't know where to start from, I believe you should start from where you are and with what you have. Ella got me <laughs> my, my first professional lighting. Like, she said to me one day, she's like, Victoria, I don't like you using this small lighting. Like, I'm going to buy you a lighting. When you blow, you're blowing for all of us. And so she got me a lighting. So yes, my friend supported me. I my did lighting. a video with Ella, which is my question tag with Ella. I think the video should be up here, up there. You guys already know. I don't know where this video normally is. I'm going to master it. And now I am able to, you know, film in my house even if it's late in the evening my lighting is bright hold on guys my food is here i'm going to show you what my food looks like thank you yummy and i am out with bay bay is shy some of you might be thinking, who is Bay? Don't worry, Bay is Bay, he is Bay where he is. <laughs> so don't think I'm eating all those food alone. He's assisting me today in my at a Vietnamese restaurant. The Colonial is one of my favorite restaurants in Houston, Texas. Their food is affordable and delicious. So as a small YouTuber, okay, I'm not I said I wasn't going to call myself a small YouTuber. So as an upcoming YouTuber, some of the struggle I face, excuse me, this is a struggle. I have to steady my camera, make sure I am all looking nice and hot, you know, and you can see me perfectly. <laughs> Number one, finding content. Listen, finding content when I started <laughs> was, because I mean, I had content at the back of my head, but I think it was the whole anxiety of becoming a youtuber so i still had to write them down i needed to be sure that this is the content i needed to put out there in fact my advice to any any upcoming youtuber right now is to do what i am doing now copy like copy or you can copy because <laughs> you don't have to stress yourself and be overthinking what you need to put out there just copy what somebody else has done my dear you are still upcoming the most important thing is making it engaging and making it yours so copy whoever you need to copy like now i am copying i'm not the first person talking about small youtuber struggle but mine is going to be called upcoming youtuber struggle because i believe we'll all get there one day and another struggle we face is find the right angle you need to you know put your lighting in the way that it will reflect your features you know your face you don't want a dark video and you need to set your camera just right you know not the portrait style get your mic ready your lighting ready everything ready to film a content so it's not easy filming a video and then after getting all those things ready when you are now filming <laughs> bloop <laughs> hey so many bloopers because there's going to be one mistake or the other when you start recording it's all about pausing like i'm going to do now and play so you have to literally pause play start all over cut all of that you know it's like making a movie by yourself i advise anybody to use a mic i recently got a mic i've been using it since when but when i started my youtube i didn't have a mic mic really adds to it you know because people can hear me well can you hear me <laughs> yeah so people can hear me a lot better with guys i am so hungry so i just need to taste it because baby girl is hungry the third struggle is editing your videos it's not easy to edit videos i edit my videos with perfect videos and i edit on my phone like i should put out a video of how i edit my videos please let me know in my comment section but yes i edit my videos myself i've been doing that for a long time i edit on my phone my iphone the same phone i use in filming and editing video is not easy because you have to make it engaging most of us now 
me <laughs> me inclusive we look for those nigerian movies you know nollywood movies that we can add to it just to make it relatable or something like that you know? <laughs> ah! So editing videos is a lot looking for background music ah, it is a lot background music must be uncopyrighted you cannot use a copyrighted music so looking for all of those things that add to the beauty of your video is really a struggle so that is one youtuber struggle creating attractive thumbnail is another struggle of an upcoming youtuber your thumbnail has to be very inviting for someone to click it let me know if you'd like me to make a five minute video on how i create my thumbnail thank you another youtuber struggle is finding viewers and subscribers you finish editing your video you uploaded your video on youtube where are the viewers coming from so i normally advertise mine on instagram my whatsapp i'm not on facebook and twitter sometimes i'm going to leave my handle so please guys follow me please okay <laughs> and honestly the only way you can get viewers is if your content is engaging so you have to there's you have to make your content engaging like if you have to dance in that video to make it engaging do whatever you need to do to make it yours and make it engaging another thing that annoys me on youtube is that you now come as this as an upcoming youtuber that i am looking for subscribers someone now comes to your youtube to say sub for sub sub for sub beginning <laughs> you know i actually fell a victim once because i subscribed to someone's channel only to find out that that person did not even subscribe to my channel because guys i subscribed to this person's channel oh yeah subscribe to, to mine now i waited until the next day i checked my subscribers count it was still the same thing <laughs> currently i am at 200 or a little bit more than 200 maybe 204 or 5 or something i don't know what it's going to be by the time i post upload this video to come i have posted over 12 videos and and i am still at 200 subscribers some people post only three videos and they are already being monetized but like i said youtube is a progress there's no rush we will get there so I know that my subscribers are loyal and thank you guys for being loyal subscribers. So looking for viewers and subscribers is actually a struggle. Okay. So another struggle is balancing YouTube with other priorities. Like I have so many things I am doing. Being a student included, I post videos every week. I try to post videos every week and I think I've been doing well with that. So it is not an easy thing trying to balance your daily activities with your YouTube video because you have to make out time to actually edit this video to come out the way you want it and actually you know look for viewers and the subscribers and all of that and plan your next video ahead and people try to make more than if, if possible three videos in one day so that day they are going to shoot one video to just keep different clothes and try to shoot as much as they can because this youtube thing is not easy so yeah, up till now i am still not monetized so some of you that have been asking me are you not seeing money on youtube which money <laughs> i am not even i have not even gotten to 30 percent of where i'm supposed to be on youtube you have to have 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours and i haven't gotten either of those like i said my subscribers are just over 200 <laughs> i don't know when i'm going to get to 1000 but i'm you know i'm being optimistic that one day it will just come as a surprise because i have you guys of course so guys if you love this video give me a thumbs up if you like everything about this video my venue where i am if you like the fact that i'm actually out give me a thumbs up let me know i'm doing a good job who knows maybe i will start actually going out to you know shoot videos and um don't forget to subscribe to my channel like leave a comment below if you're an upcoming youtuber like me please identify yourself in my comment section so that we can support each other and um yeah that's it 
thank you guys so much for watching once again i love you all bye